Welcome back to Hogwarts Legacy, everyone. We are going to be doing the Helm of Urquhart, so we have to go see Serona. Hello there. Nice to see you. One thing is the other. Let's talk to her first. She's a side quest, and then we'll talk to Serona. Pardon me, but were you saying something? Oh, hello. Talking to myself. I'm Clementine. Willetsy. Charmed. I was musing on the precious butterflies I see near the edge of the forest. Whenever I come near, they fly off into it. When I was at Hogwarts, we truly were forbidden from entering the forest. Told horrible stories about it, and I've had an irrationally intense fear of it ever since. It's silly, but I'm insatiably curious as to where the butterflies go in the forest. You couldn't possibly find out. Could you? You want me to follow the butterflies? I do, yes, if you wouldn't mind. Uh, what did you hear about the forest? What were the horrible stories you were told about the Forbidden Forest? Oh, goodness, everything from students being mysteriously beheaded to terrifying spider dens. Oh, trust me, you hear that at 11 years old, it sticks with you. Well, I will think about it. Very well. If I have time, I shall see where they lead. Oh, how kind! Students these days have so much more courage than I ever did. You can usually find me right around here. I hope to see you soon. And that starts our search for butterflies. Don't forget, the butterflies always seem to be on the fringes of the Forbidden Forest. Good luck! Let's talk to Serana. Hello, Miss Ryan. I wanted to thank you again for your help with Rookwood and Harlow the day of the troll attack. Serona, please. And I was happy to help. Oh, those two are nothing but trouble. Glad you and your friend were here when they found you. I am too. You were speaking to a goblin here that day. Yes, Lodgog. <sighs> He's a friend. I'm glad to hear it. It seemed as though you were on good terms with him. I've known him for years. We met when I was waiting tables here as a student, well before I bought the place. He was cordial enough, but we weren't friends then. His mistrust of wizard kind ran deep. But you're friends now? We are. I hadn't seen him in years when he came in a few months ago. But he recognized me instantly, which is more than I can say for some of my own classmates. It took them a second to realize I was actually a witch, not a wizard. Not all goblins are like Ranrock and his loyalists. Lodgok is as worried as the rest of us about what's been going on. In that case, I'd like to talk with him, about Ranrock in particular. Where might I find him? I assume your interest is to do with the rumors I've heard about Ranrock working with our friend Rookwood. It is. If he's not here, you might find him doing business at the Hog's Head. He's a trusted metal trader. You should mention that we spoke. He can, understandably, be wary of witches and wizards, even ones as young as you. That said, if you're looking for information on Ranrock to help rein him in, you'll find an ally in Lodgok. What have you heard about Ranrock and Rookwood? Have you heard what Ranrock and Rookwood are working on together? Not much more than the fact that they seem to have some sort of uneasy alliance. Friendship between wizards and goblins is rare enough, but between those two, they each want something the other has. I can guarantee it. That said, I fear they're like a two-headed serpent. Both will need to be taken down to stop whatever scheme they've been plotting. Are you worried about Rookwood? You seemed unfazed by Rookwood and Harlow the other day. They don't scare you. They're bullies. Plain and simple. Never tolerated them in my own life, and certainly won't tolerate them going after my friends. Don't misunderstand me. They're dangerous wizards and shouldn't be trifled with. They should, however, be confronted and reminded, whenever possible, that the rest of us have each other's backs. Thank you. Thank you, Serona. If you find Lord Gog, please give him my best. I don't know what you've done to make such powerful enemies, but please, watch your back. We will do. All right, let's go see Lord Gog. Good to see you outside the castle. 
You too, I'll meet. Welcome to the Og's Head. Any empty seat is yours. You look familiar. I look familiar? Hello, Lord Gok. Sorona said I might find you here. She did, did she? Did she send you with news? No, actually, I wanted to speak with you. It's about Ranrock. Now I remember. The three broomsticks. Day of the troll attack. You're the student he's after. I am. And I need to know what he and his loyalists are up to, so I can stay a step ahead. Let's say I did know. Why should I trust you? Because Sorona trusts me. Sorona trusts me, and she said she thought our interests may be aligned. Hmm. Well, if Sorona trusts you, very well. I may know of something that could help us both. A way to get Ranrock to confide his plans to me. I'm listening. Years ago, a heinous witch stole a sacred goblin relic. Rumor has it that it now rests in her sarcophagus, in a tomb accessible only by wizard kind. Ranrock and I had a, a falling out a while back. The relic could well repair the chasm between us. It does sound like a trap, but let's go retrieve the relic. Very well. I'll retrieve the relic if you promise to share Ranrock's plans with me. We will have to trust each other. I, that you will not abscond with the relic, and you, that I'll share what I learn. Gather whatever supplies you may need, and meet me near the witch's tomb. Hmm. Well, we could use a few more supplies, so... Well, let's head back to the Room of Requirement real quick. So let's head out. I'm ready. Good. There's no time to lose. What precisely is the relic I'm to retrieve? A valuable heirloom known as the Helmet of Ertgot. The witch considered herself a collector and purchased the helmet as a trinket. She cared not what pain she caused the goblins. Goblins believe that the rightful owner of any object is its maker, not its purchaser. Wizard kind sees things differently. It's a wonder goblins and wizards have ever been able to work together. The differences between our kinds are myriad. They seem to be. It may surprise you to know that I do not believe those differences always to be insurmountable. It is the reason I find myself traveling with you to this tomb today. I feel like I'm going to run him over. But can you move a little bit faster? Sorry, I had to stop for supplies.
Ah, and there it is. The witch's tomb. Ugh, dreadful looking place, isn't it? Revelia. I wish you luck retrieving the helmet. As a wand carrier, you should have an advantage. Now, before you set off, do you have any questions? Why is the helmet valuable? What about this helmet makes it so special? The helmet of Ertgot is an ancient and storied relic, forged during a time of unity among the goblin clans. It inspired greatness, that is, until it was no longer ours. Then it became something else. A symbol of what has been lost, of all that wizard kind has taken from us. Reclaiming it would mean a great deal to goblin kind and to Ranrock. He would be grateful to me should I return it. Do you know why Ranrock is working with Rookwood? It seems Ranrock and Rookwood are conspiring. Why would that be? I had heard this. When the dark-hearted conspire, they seldom make their full intentions clear to one another. I can only speculate, but I imagine their alliance is uneasy and quite fragile. Let us hope that ours is less so. What might I encounter in the tomb? Don't suppose you have any idea what could be waiting for me inside the tomb? Considering a dark witch was involved, I suppose there's a chance you may encounter the dark protectors, known as Inferi. The foul creatures thrive on darkness and the cold. Vanquish them with light, force, and most effectively, fire. Okay, I'm ready. It all seems clear to me now that we're here. I do hope our alliance proves fruitful. Again, I wish you luck. I will remain here, eagerly awaiting your return. Please, be careful. Alright. Let's set up our spells. Search the Revenue. tomb. Got it. Another dark and dreary place, probably with lots of spiders. Just my kind of place. Sealed. Need to find at least one butterfly. There you are. Moths. Curious. That's not what I want to do. Lumos. Revelio. Malin's beard. the witch's tomb. Likely I need to go further.
Velio. Lumos. Feeling I'm not alone here. And you're probably right. Revelio. Need better spells. Revelio. Lumos. More butterflies. Hmm. If I could power it somehow, it looks like it could be rotated. It is.
need to get that platform closer. But how? go with that. like everything, although that looks like a door. Uh. 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 It's over here. That's the door. Well, I guess it's good to have it open. Revelia. Incendio! Incendio! 
Ravenia. All right, what do we have here? Looks even more complex. Lumos. Goodness, there's stuff hidden everywhere. All right, this is going to be interesting. She stayed right there. Hmm. Making this spin ought to raise that platform. I know that it must does. be it. Final resting place. Lodgog said the helmet was in her sarcophagus. Revelio. A dead Ashwinder. Your compatriot. Better show this to Lodgog. Hmm. I know there's a mechanism to open this door.
Lodcock, the sarcophagus has been raided. I found no helmet, only a dead Ashwinder. Damn, they got here first. We need to get it before Rookwood uses it to further ingratiate himself to Ranrock. I saw one of their campsites not far from here, but I fear you must go in alone. My fighting days are behind me. Okay, I'll go. I'll head there now. Good. There's no time to lose. Get to that helmet before Rookwood does, or we will lose our chance at any leverage, no matter how small, with Ranrock. To think those wretched thieves have their hands on such a relic. And off we go. There they are. <laughs> the ash <laughs> You're going to regret that. Exposo! Levioso! Up here! I'm Fringo! I always hated these I'll certainly move up in Rookwood Max. Taylor, stupid man. Courage in a porlock. Death from above. Expulsion. I quit now while you're still alive. Uh, Expulsion. <laughs> this is not going well for you. Expelliarmus. A flash of inspiration. Expelliarmus. You die for that. <gasps> Wait till Sebastian hears about this. An Ashwinder. Okay, that wasn't pretty. Revelia. Oh, what's the light go out of your eye? Glitched oh, I got up. There we go. Revelia. And back to Lord Guck. Looks rather dark in there. Never stopped me before. I retrieved the helmet from the Ashwinders. Well done! 
This is sure to impress Ranrock. The helmet shines even more brightly than I imagined. The etchings, the contour of the profile, remarkable. It's stunning. It looks stunning, Lord Gok. I see why you wanted it back. You did the thieves a service by recovering it. I know many a goblin who would have killed for it. Ah, huh, then I'm glad to be rid of it myself. Thank you. This should earn Ranrock's trust. I will take it to him immediately. It may distract him from his search. His search? It, uh, it is merely an inkling. You have impressed me greatly, friend. I am glad that I trusted you. We shall speak soon. Best to keep our arrangement quiet for now. Many will not believe that our aims might possibly be aligned. Okay, we're going to double check. Yes, we did get everything out of the cave. Okay. If you go to the map, you can check and see, if, make sure you got everything that's important out of the cave. to the room of requirement. Deke is still eating his apple. This is where we're going to end today's episode. Until we meet again, take care of yourself and thank you for watching.